Hi, hello Leo, welcome to your reading. Um, so this one focuses on, so I've got a hair on my lip. <laughs> so this reading focuses on um, what's, you know, what's holding you back, what's blocking your, uh, you know, your abundance, your prosperity, your flow, your love, your, you know, dream, car and home and career and money and all the beautiful flow that we all want to have in this world, you know, what is it that's blocking it for you, okay, so, um, just going to draw you like a, an oracle card and some other cards while I'm speaking to you, and I'm hyper, hyper excited, it's my, um, it depends on when you're obviously looking at this reading, but if you're looking at, um, at it today, which is the, or on the day that it comes out, which is the 8th of July, then it's my birthday. So thank you so much for being a special part of my life. Thank you for, um, you know, your time and your energy and your love and your life and all those beautiful things that are making life so worth living. So thank you so much for forming part of that for me. I'm drawing your cards for you as I speak. Um, just getting this out of the way, sorry. So if it's your first time to my channel, welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. My name is Adrian. I'm a psychic media holistic wellness practitioner. I've got a general reading coming out every week and the fire signs come out on a Wednesday. Um, so if it resonates with you, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Oh, this is beautiful. I've got a card there for you, an oracle card. I'm not looking at it. We're going to end your reading with that. I say one more card, so I'll draw you one more card. And um, what resonates, resonates with you. You claim that inside your heart. And um, if you want to invest in yourself, you're more than welcome to do so by, you know, ordering a tarot reading from me. They're 12 US dollars for a 30 minutes downloadable reading. Um, so basically one dollar for every hour of the day. Okay. This is amazing stuff. Let's see what we've got. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. If you want to learn how to read the tarot, I provide those courses online via Zoom. Let's get into your reading. Okay. So, you have got inner voice, mind, the creator, and going with the flow. Now, before I continue with the reading for you, there, it's a, such a strong message coming through for you, such a reminder that I need to give you, so I'm going to give you that first, okay? Um, that whatever you want to have in this world, you can have, you know? When it comes to manifestation, sometimes we think that certain things are easier to manifest than other things, you know? Some things take a lot longer because we think that they take them longer, but... I mean, for example, if you listen to, to, to something like Abram Hicks, for example, you know, um, the teachings of Abram with Esther Hicks, they speak a lot about um, how everything is from the same vortex, that the creation itself, it's all just energy. So certain things take a bit longer than other things, but it's because we perceive that it's going to be that way. All right. Um, so if you want to learn about manifestation, how to easily get things into your life, beautiful things and stay in your life, very good choice. Okay, Abraham Hicks. All right, so, and interestingly with that, you know, I, I feel that you've got this um, inner voice, this powerful, powerful, powerful inner voice, inner guidance, inner GPS, Leo, that, that, you know, kind of like guides you to where it is that you, you know, kind of need to go for what it is that you want to have. Um, Speaking of Leo, my cat's name is Leo and I've got his hair on my lips. <laughs> we were playing like, hello, hello, hello. Um, so there's, in, there's, there's an inner guidance, there's an inner voice inside you that can be in, but it's almost like you are, um, you know, it's like the inner voice says this, the inner guidance, your inner GPS, your coordinates, your unique coordinates for the best experience of your life, you know, says this. Then you go like, no, but this, you know, and it says to you, okay, but how about this? How about this flow? And then you go like, no, but this is what the world showing me at the moment. This is what the evidence is showing me at the moment, you know. This is what the flow is showing me at the moment. So it's almost like, uh, you get that this is, when you get that, it's you versus you, okay? And I always say that the that our inner voice, that our higher self, that our gut feeling, that you know the angels and the universe and all that assist us, it's really it's part of us. So the higher self that we're talking about, it's us. Okay. Um, so you can be like around the round table from with your higher self and get some guidance and get some assistance because it's you helping you. All right. Um, 
which then brings you to the space where you are, you know, when you can get that you are the creator of your own life, okay? And then you go with that flow, all right? So when you, when, when you get that, when you, you know, in, instead of, uh, instead of sort of looking where you are at the moment, because here's the thing about where we are. This is the thing about our current experience of life. Even this, um, the, this video that you're looking at right now, this is a creation that was created from previous thoughts. Okay, I'm going to say that again. So what we currently have, what you're currently experiencing, what you're currently seeing, what's currently surrounding you is a creation from your previous thoughts, from your previous emotional associations. That is what you created from there. You, you created the now from in the past. Okay, so if you don't like where you are right now, instead of, you know, so instead of saying, but I can't if this and I can't if that, and it's going to take long because, because, and because, when you realize that where you currently are is sort of old news and you can create something new from here, so it's by being present here and now, and whatever thoughts you put in the here and now um, is how you create the future. Okay. I'm going to share with you, I've got this beautiful deck, it was an early birthday gift of mine, I'm so excited about it. And um, and even with this deck, the reason why I wanted to use this deck specifically for, um, for these readings, you know, what's holding you back, is because I wanted to use this deck for these readings, what's holding you back in life, you know. Um, and of course it's like, um, it's, you know, it's currently, it's the coronavirus going around, it's a lockdown, there's restrictions on this and restrictions on that. And I said to myself, oh, well, you know, I probably just won't be able to use it. And it's okay, I'll just use, you know, I've got many other decks, I'll just use one of the other decks, you know, even though I really wanted to use that one. I'm all right with it. So I detached, I released. Two minutes later, I get a message. Can I drop the deck off at your home? Okay, let's clarify. Yep. Okay, so with that inner voice, the death card came out first, followed by the Queen of Cups. These cards are a little bit wacky, but I love them. And the sun. Okay. So this is the death. This is death is about, you know, what wasn't working before so that new things can come in. Okay? So when it comes to the inner voice, the inner voice is about creating new things. It's about moving away from the current experience that you say that you don't want to have into a new experience. But in order to do so, you need to find a way to disassociate from that which is, which, which is um, keeping you from what you'd like to do. All right? So um, try to quiet the mind chatter, um, you know, via meditation. Um, somehow becoming quiet okay if you can quiet that mind chatter even just for a little bit then you're able to hear the inner voice and that is how you progress into the new phase all right it is and also here's the other thing it is by feeling the emotions that you often get out of the emotions okay the queen of cups is very much about you know i feel that you're very much on your you know flow of working hard wanting to, to uh, good sense of humor but i'm um, still wanting to progress forward you know wanting to have that leo energy because this the sun is obviously the leo card okay for those of you that may not have known so how do you get from here where you don't want to be to here where you want to be, all right? It's acknowledging the feelings. It's acknowledging how you feel. A lot of times we don't want to acknowledge how we feel. But saying, okay, I don't like where I currently am. I don't like the experience. It's frustrating. It's demotivating. It's, it's sad. It's, har it's harrowing. It's, it's whatever, you know? It is about, first of all, acknowledging what it is that you actually feel. Because how can you really heal from, from something if you don't know what you're healing from, you know? It's by realizing what you don't like, acknowledging it, not making it bad, not making it horrible, not pushing it away, just acknowledging it. This is what I have. I don't really like this. And saying, okay, I'm open to something different and I'm open to something new. All right. It's almost like a parent who doesn't want to listen to a child because they're like, oh, the child is always whining. But if you maybe listen to the child, understand what's going on, they're going to stop whining. Okay. Getting out of this mind space, this mind chatter, this... Um, I feel there's a lot of um, sort of, in a way that you could be blocking yourself, saying, but this, but that, but this, but that. Three cards came right out. Um, 
I'm going to give it to you the way that it came up because the Eight of Wands came out first, then the Page of Cups, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So it seems like you're trying to do things a little bit back to front there, especially when it comes to money, especially when it comes to manifestation, not wanting to feel certain feelings, not wanting to feel certain emotions. But then also, and um, I'm just going to say to you the way that I'm getting it, also sometimes, um, you know, when the feelings are coming up, saying so like, oh, I feel like such a victim, you know, I feel so down. Um, it's almost like, um, not necessarily for all of you, but for some of you, I get a very strong feeling. It's almost like you are romanticizing how bad things are, you know, being the victim, being the person who's suffering, being the person who one day gets through this, being the person who's, um, you know, I don't know, being punished by God or have to suffer, or, you know. Um, sort of like weakening your own knees. What is it here with the creator? Yeah. Adapt a new, uh, adapt a new pattern, a pattern of prosperity, a pattern of abundance. Once, once, two, three of ones, four of swords, and six of ones. This is powerful. This is powerful. Okay. So, um, with the creator then, the three of ones, you know, tapping into the allness of who you are. You know, a lot of times we speak about the Creator, especially in um, Christianity, you know, it speaks of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And spirituality is more mind, body, soul, or mind, body, spirit, you know. But it's about letting you know that there's more to you than just the you that's having the experience here and that, that there is a lot of help available universal source available there's a lot of backup for you Leo that is available and you can call on that okay you don't have to be the person who suffers alone in silence you can call on the universal support that is available to you all right don't feel like you are alone know that you are not know that there um if you look at that um, full moon over there the full moon is very symbolic about you know um energy power, manifestation, abundance, prosperity, success. So start even thinking in your mind or writing down in a book or, you know, a new diary, an old diary or whatever. So what does abundance mean for you? What does prosperity mean for you? What does success mean for you? Because it's different for different people. Okay. For some people, abundance would be to live on that house on the hill that's all bright and shiny and beautiful. And, you know, it's got like 16 rooms and 20,000 bathrooms. And for another person, you know, who maybe wants to be a photographer, they, it's about living in a tent somewhere in the Amazon and like having expensive photography equipment or just some silence, you know. It's different for different people. So what does abundance mean to you and prosperity mean to you and success mean to you? All right. If you could create, if if you already don't have what you want, what you want to have in life, you can just as well play a game with it. So if you could create absolutely anything from you know whatever, what would you create? What would your life look like? Okay. And that's how you come into your power, and that's how you come into your moment. There with the six of wands, isn't it beautiful? That's how you come into your moment. Now you set the flow, so now you're going with the flow because it's when you understand that you are the creator of your own experience of life. Okay. Let's see. So now we're speaking about going into flow. Okay. How do we go with the flow? Five of Swords. Let go of things that you don't need to be fighting. Some of you are fighting things you don't need to be fighting. Romanticizing the, the suffering, being the victim, the strong person. The, let that nonsense go. It's really not serving you in any positive ways. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yes, beautiful. Five of Swords, um, Six of Cups. So you see we had Six of Wands previously. Now we're having Six of Cups and Seven of Swords. Okay. Letting go. Are you fighting fights that you don't need to be fighting? Okay. When you let those fights that you don't need to be fighting go, new things can start coming into your life, new possibilities can start opening. And then you've got more things that you need to let go. But the more things you let go already, and you get into some new things that are beautiful in your life, see now you're already starting to fly. So there's still, there's, there's, you know, even though as you go forward, as you release some things, and new things come in, even though there's more things to release, even if everything doesn't happen all at once, at least it's already starting to come better. Okay. 
So how do you go with that flow to the next step and the next step and the next step and the next step? It is by asking yourself, am I really, you know, having feelings that I don't need to be feeling? There we go, Ghostland, that's your oracle card. It's about feeling those emotions, you know, inside for now, in your past, when you was a child, who left you, who disappointed you, who hurt you. Um, work at maybe forgiving one of those things. And even if you can't forgive the full thing, when you can even start to forgive 25% of it, 15% of it, it starts to open the doors for you. And that is how you learn to work with life, with the universe, which is really you. Okay. On a love and respect, my beautiful Leas. Um, I hope it helped. If it resonated with you, give me a like, give me a comment, let me know. If you are, you know, if it resonates with you, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. There's a reading coming out for you every Wednesday, okay? And um, I hope you have a beautiful week. If you want to invest in yourself, you want to have a personal detailed reading, 12 US dollars, 30 minutes downloadable reading. If you want to learn tarot, um, follow the link or the information is down below. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. I'll see you next week.